Hello and welcome to this week's Buy Local TV, where we promote Michigan's businesses, communities, and its people. My name is Frank. And I'm Dwayne. This week we're in uh, beautiful downtown Rockford, where it's a pretty sunny day uh, on a Sunday afternoon. And uh, a lot of people are walking around, doing some fishing, uh, and just enjoying this uh, uh, on the brink of spring. You can kind of smell it. it's in the air, but it's still, there's snow on the ground, but it's, it's beautiful out here, Dwayne. You know, and it is, and there's, this goes to show you that there's a lot to do right in your backyard. It doesn't have to be that you have to travel to another state or even go long distances. You can come down to places like Rockford, come down to the park and the boardwalk here, and just walk along the dam. You've know, got people fishing. Uh, it's a tremendous spot when the fish are here, but uh, slow, slow right now because it's early. Uh, probably 20 years plus. I've fished here off and on the last three or four every year. Okay, and you said it's a little early. Um, what do you normally, what are you waiting for, the salmon? Uh, steelhead this Steel. spring, yeah. Um, the water temperature's got to come up. I hear they're in the Grand, but I haven't fished it. We got, well, actually, we fished it last week just to see for a couple hours when we caught a nice walleye. All right, but it's, it sure beats a day at work, right? Tremendous day off. <laughs> and around Michigan, you know, we... We're starting to take this show on the road and we're kind of looking for, for different places that we can go. Where are some of your, without giving away the exact locations, what are some of the favorite areas that you like to go fishing? Uh, Croton is probably one of my favorites. It's close to home too, so I'm from the Big Rapids area. Um, gets a tremendous run of fish. It's a nice clean river, um, but they usually run that river a little bit later, stronger, and they start here first, so I always start here first. Yeah, there's always a, a progression that they, they have to move their way up. And, you know, the Croton area is great down by the Croton Dam uh, in that area and then up a little farther for Hardy Dam and, and the Muskegon River. There's a lot of really nice areas up there. And, you know, I'd like to thank you very much for your time today. Show us your big catch. <laughs> yes. We don't even get to keep it. Yeah, yeah that's a nice little fish. Birdie. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, we just need to get them a little bigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, about a foot would be nice. Yeah. In this week's episode, we're going to uh, offer a tech tip. Can you give us a little overview of what this tech tip is going to be? Yeah, I'm going to share with you in Photoshop how you can remove simple scratches or stains on your old photos. Hello, I'm Frank, and welcome to this week's tech tip. We'll be looking at a couple different techniques on how to remove scratches from an old photo in Photoshop. First thing I like to do is make a duplicate layer of the photo. Let's zoom in here a little bit. One of the first techniques I'm going to show you is really simple. Just go up to Filter, Noise, and Dust and Scratches Filter. Make sure your preview box is checked. Leave the threshold at zero, but let's just adjust the radius. Notice as I increase the radius size, we lose those really bad scratches, but we also lose detail in the photo. So we're going to have to find a radius size that, that gets rid of a lot of the scratches without losing a lot of detail in the photo. Four looks good, so let's click OK. Here's before, here's after. So just by using that filter removed quite a few scratches. Now for those, those harder scratches to remove, let's zoom in here on something really bad. Let's say the scratch down in this area. For this, let's use the clone stamp tool. And what you want to do is use the Alt and Option key, hold that down, and click and sample an area of pixels that are good. So we'll sample just above the scratch. And then you just brush away the bad scratch. That simple. Now, it's not always going to be that easy to remove scratches. You know, there's going to be areas in here that are going to be a little tougher, but these are a couple techniques that you can use. Um, remember, we're here to help you. Um, photo restoration is one thing that we do here at Buy Local TV, and if there are old photos that you'd like to have restored, give us a call, um, and we'll be happy to help. Back to you, Dwayne. Thanks, Frank, for that tip. I'd like to take this opportunity. You know, buy local, buy local video profiles and buy local TV is something that I've been working on for, for quite a while. 
And I've got some very, very strong, very, very creative people. As we take this show on the road and we go into different places and different communities and events, you're going to see these people around Michigan. And we're here to promote Michigan businesses, communities, and its people, just like Frank said when we started. But let's take it back to the studio right now and let's get to know the creative team at Buy Local TV. Hi, my name is Kathy Murphy. Uh, for 25 years, I've been an advertising agent and a media consultant. Um, recently, I've been doing a lot of work with uh, the Buy Local folks and bringing my clients into the social media. And to add to that, we have joined forces and I am now going to be the Buy Local reporter. I'm so excited about doing this. I think it's going to be fun and informative at the same time. Um, and with that, I'd like you to listen to what Frank has to say. Thanks. Hi, my name is Frank Krawicki and I'm part of the creative team at Buy Local TV. Uh, Dwayne and I met a few years back and uh, we had talked a lot about uh, developing a podcast so uh, we uh, he had this vision of doing the buy local TV and uh, we started doing it and uh, it's been evolving ever since um, I'm a graphic designer videographer and web designer and uh, I'm looking forward to meeting uh, new businesses and organizations uh, all over Michigan as we take the show on the road Hi, I'm Melissa Manzigol. I'm an associate producer with Buy Local TV. I look forward to going out and helping local Michigan businesses tell their story. Hi, I'm Dwayne Weed. I'm a video producer and one of the creators of Buy Local TV. Been doing this since about 1984. And in the 90s sometime, I was thinking that I'd like to do a program that spotlighted the different counties around here, but there wasn't really a medium that I could reach all the areas. Cable just didn't cut it at the time. The web was still a little new and especially video streaming. But today, you know, I, I connected with Frank a few years ago and we decided to put together this podcast and it's, it's really starting to formulate about going out and promoting Michigan. And now with, with Kathy and Melissa joining our team, there is some creative talent here and there are people here that really want to support Michigan and I'm just very blessed to be around these people and can't wait till we take the show on the road and we get to meet you. Hi, Buy Local TV on the road. We're here at Pando where we're uh, watching people tube, ski and uh, snowboarding and speaking of snowboarding, um, Dwayne's over at uh, one of the hills uh, with some uh, snowboarders. Uh, let's take it to you Dwayne. It's a beautiful day, a lot of skiing going on. We're coming down to the close of the season, but you know, skiing in Michigan is just a great place to, to be you know, all year round. And I was watching these guys coming down this hill and, and, and getting some pretty good air, and they decided they'd, they'd, they'd join us here. And tell me, what, what is the most exciting part to you about doing these jumps? Uh, just getting the big air, getting the big feel and stuff. It's pretty fun. And the big crash once in a while, too? Yeah. Uh, how about you? What do you like best about this? Um, I just like the feeling when you're up in the air, just like the feeling in your stomach and the adrenaline. That's pretty cool. And how about you? I just like the feeling when you look down and you're like huge and I'm like, whoa, I'm high. <laughs> I just like the feeling when you just land something great and it just feels awesome. And, and do you guys kind of know that you're going to land it great when you're in the air or is it when it's all over? Well, when you're in the air, your balance, you can tell if your balance is good and then... You'll just ride smooth away. Well, and how long have you guys been coming out to this particular, uh, you know, coming out here to Pando? Every year. Every year? This place is great. Okay. Now, do you guys do any other places around Michigan, or is it pretty much just, just Pando? It varies, really. Where the snow's good, I think. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. If you guys want to go back up to the top, we're going to get some more video of you guys coming down, and we'll, you know, we enjoy your time here, and we, we're glad that you stopped. Okay. Thanks. Well, Dwayne, that was pretty fun watching those kids uh, take those jumps uh, snowboarding. They're pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> and they and they loved the air. They they really loved getting that air, and and it was it was neat. And they just went and did did it over and over and over again, and it was a lot of fun. It sure was. Now we enjoy doing this podcast, and there are many different podcasts out there. And uh, we have some friends over at Talking Scuba, and uh, Dwayne uh, is going to go back to the studio and introduce uh, our friends, and they're going to share a little bit about their video podcast. Welcome, and today we're talking with, with Bob and Johnny from Talking Scuba. 
a netcast. Yes. Netcast. Uh, for those that you don't know that what that is, it's a video podcast, but it's available in more than just you know, on iTunes. It's available across different networks. Can you tell us a little bit about that? We're on Roku. We're also on uh, Apple TV as well. Okay. So it's available in high definition, 720p. All right. So tell us, what is Talking Scuba? Well, Talking Scuba is a recreational uh, scuba diving show. It's all about uh, scuba diving in Michigan and the Midwest. Um, we also do some diving uh, outside of Michigan, but it's pretty much focused on Michigan. And whose brainchild? Was this it's a combination of both? Yeah, so it takes two heads to make one show. Yeah, <laughs> I originally understand. was going to do a, a podcast just for myself, but then I told Bob I was going to do it, and he was like, "I've always wanted to do one." So then we just kind of started talking, and and you've been on the air now for we're, our, we're in season two now, so we've been yeah. we did uh, a little over a year. That's yeah, excellent. 20, done about twenty six episodes. Okay, now for those people out there that have a topic or have something that they're kind of looking at doing for an idea, tell us kind of what goes into the netcast or podcast, you know, doing a weekly or bi-weekly series? Originally, we were going to try to do weekly and find out that we couldn't do that because of time restraints. Uh, video production takes quite a bit of time to uh, produce. Um, and then originally, we were going to try to do a 30-minute show. Found out that took a little longer. <laughs> so, and people weren't watching all the way through. So we cut it down to about 15, 17-minute show. And uh, from there, uh, we kind of evolved it with a set and... It just kind of evolved as we kept doing the show and figuring out what worked, what, what didn't work. So that's kind of the key, is if somebody has an idea, that they start and they keep evolving it. It's, yeah. it's not just, oh, we're going to go in and we're going to do it this way regardless. You kind of have to look at your viewership and look at, at, at where the show is going and be creative. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Uh, we'll get these guys back on and talk about Michigan diving and some of the places that you can go around Michigan. So until next time, thank you. Wow, what a wonderful day in Michigan. I mean, it's just sure been was. a great day to be out here. And you know, the blue sky, I, I know that winter's coming to a close, spring is on its way, but you know, downhill skiing, you know, the, the snowboarders, you know, Michigan's just full of that, you know, whether it's snowboarding or snowshoeing or snowmobiling, anything with snow, you know, we are a state that you don't really have to travel very far, far to do things. That's very true. And having the four seasons and the changes, it's just, it's, it's so much fun because there's so many different uh, things to do throughout the year. And, you know, check back with us in, in next week's episode, I had an opportunity to go up uh, to say Nignus and got to interview some of the uh, Red Wing alumni and in our next in our next podcast I'm going to probably pick somebody from that I'm thinking maybe Ted Lindsay from the 1940s uh, group oh, wow. he, he played with he played with uh, Gordie Howe on that on that front line they they they, they got a, a Stanley Cup and you know some some good very gracious gentlemen but I think next week we're going to or in the next episode, I should say, we're gonna we're gonna talk to him, and we welcome your ideas. If you have any show ideas, uh, as Frank said earlier, any events, etc., you know, just just give us a call. You know that, that that's what we're here for. So I guess it's time for us to, you know, go on the trail, as we say. You know, we are by local TV. We're promoting Michigan businesses, communities, and its people. Until next week, have a great day. Yeah, we'll, well, Dwayne, take it away. Go ahead, Dwayne business any activities that you have uh give us a call we're here to <laughs> speak into my lapel <laughs> here at buy local tv we're here to promote you and your business uh if you have an activity uh give us a call we're here to help and we want to promote you